You can explore a whole world that is underneath your feet. Cody's caravan going underground this morning. Uh, Cody, I am intrigued by this Cody caravan segment this morning. So we're Cody. talking about the difference between <laughs> copper lines yeah. and fiber optic lines. This yes. is old school. That's old school. Yeah, mm -hmm. copper was like uh, in the K's for internet speed, dial-up networking. Um, and then now it's gradually gone from megs to gigs, so which changes it by thousands and millions. So megs is millions and gigs is, I don't know, gajillions. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, old school was copper. Yeah, old school is copper. Uh, let's go over and show them the fiber optics. Because, okay, well, explain to them like this. This is what? What are we looking at right here? So this is the old equipment that we are trying to get rid of. Mm -hmm. um, this is copper equipment. Each one of these little pins belongs to a house. Okay. Um, and there's equipment that we provide that powers each house. So it goes through some office equipment over here to provide the internet. There's not everybody is eligible for fiber yet, but we're getting there. Um, we're trying to get fiber out to everybody so everybody can get high speed internet. Uh, but copper is definitely going away. And now we are switching over. To let's, fiber. let's go show them the fiber because this is the difference between this and that is like dinosaurs and, yes. and, and stuff, you yes. know? So this is, uh, you're talking gigs, like we offer up to two gigs right now. So that's a lot higher speed. Most people's computers can't even handle a gig. Mm. So uh, the way this works, it comes from uh, an optical line transmitter, and which is OLT. An optical line transmitter feeds each house that is in Western Roseville. So each one of these jumpers could be either a house or a business or even a cell site because the fiber provides service to the cell sites. So this, I know you're showing it to me. So like the little, oh yeah, yeah, this guy right here. Yeah. So it comes from one line, one line. as opposed to all those lines that we saw for yes. house. It would just be one little plug-in and then it splits, right? Yeah, one fiber goes to a splitter, which it could be like a one by 64 splitter. So one fiber will feed 64 houses. Um, in this case, one fiber could feed all the splitters too. So you could have like a remote terminal that has one fiber feeding it that could feed, you know, thousands of people. Wow. So um, in some cases we have like a fiber feeding a whole city like Lincoln. So it, uh, fiber is infinite and it, we don't know what it can do. So it's, uh, it's one of the things that's amazing. Yeah. Even working on it, it's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go from here yes. down into a manhole. Yes, so the way the fiber works, it goes from a shelf inside the central office or inside a remote terminal, and then it hits a manhole typically or a telephone pole like you did last time. Uh -huh. This time we're gonna do manhole. It goes into a manhole and then it goes out to all these different subdivisions from the manhole. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. I have one last very serious question for you. I mean, this is very important. Is your mom watching right now? Uh, she is probably watching. My mom's like 100 years old. Hello, mom. Uh, so she's uh, she still works. So she loves her job and she's probably at work but recording this. Okay, so all right. I know, watch it today. I know she's a big fan, especially <laughs> when you and I are together. Yes. All right, so we're going to the manhole next. That's coming up. Back to you. All right. Very hey, cool. Hey, mama, if you're watching. I know, right? <laughs> awesome. Today, 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 I feel like the luckiest man, man, man <laughs> on the face of the earth. Earth, earth, earth. Look, okay, look at Pat, where are we right now? <laughs> we are in a manhole or a vault, a equipment vault, vault oh yeah. Gosh. We're in the vault. We're in the vault with a bunch of uh, splice cases and probably for the first time ever, four guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a four guy vault yeah, as we're in. Good. Since we're in the vault, uh, uh, what's your pin number on your ATM card? Because nobody can hear us, we're in a vault. <laughs> There's nothing on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what happens in here? Like, honestly, I know nothing about the underground below these things. Every, everybody drives over it, they walk over them and stuff, but we don't know what's down here. So the equipment we were at a little while ago inside the central office, uh, it leaves that central office and it usually ends up in a manhole like this. Mm -hmm. And then it gets spliced in a manhole and it goes its separate directions. So one might go to one street, one cable might go to another street, and that's how it all gets sent through these different conduits that are all in the underground. Okay, okay. So you're looking at the holes, that's the conduits, right? That's the conduits, yep. And they go to all different locations. One might go north, one might go south, one might go 
uh, east and west. So, matter of fact, they all do. So, okay. yeah. now when we got here this morning, yes, this was full of water. We would be it is all yeah. The top. It was no longer full of water. Yeah, it was. Uh, it takes us about a half an hour or so to pump it, but we were standing in six feet of water earlier this morning. And that's normal. That's right? normal. Yeah, normal. from rainwater, from just the gutter water, everything else. Um, it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's all muddy and disgusting down here. But yeah, it's actually it's kind of cleaner than I thought it would be. It's quite not honestly, bad. it's not a bad one. Yeah, it's not a bad one. So there, some of these are bigger. Yes. Some are smaller. Mm -hmm. Yep, we have a double neckers that have two manhole lids that feed one big giant vault and there's a lot more equipment in there and they're twice as tall. So you need a ladder within the ladder to get down here to reach some of the equipment. So, get out of here. Yeah, no, they're, uh, we would want to take you one of them but those are usually in the middle of the road so we'd have to block lanes to get into those. Mm, so yeah. yeah, they're big. Yeah, it, that's just what, when I'm driving down the road, I block the roads. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that for television. Yeah. <laughs> How interesting. Yeah. Okay, so uh, once, once the stuff comes in here, yes. And then it has to go to another manhole, or does it go, where does it go next? It could go to another manhole, or it can go to an, a vault, above ground vault. So the, the location we're going to be going to next is a vault that we don't have to go underground to get to it. But the cables, the conduits, all eventually reach right here. Mm. So where we're going to next, uh, it's just got a big old lid. We'll pop it off. We'll be able to reach the splice. So it's like... Phone lines get smaller the farther away from the central office. Mm -hmm. Same thing out in the field. We're going to get to a smaller cable, and we'll open that one up. Oh, okay. There's a lot of construction going on. Is that what we're working on? We're just, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on out here yeah. in West Park. Yeah. yeah. So there's we, a lot of folks. Moving. It keeps us employed. Yeah. <laughs> it does. I haven't been able to turn left in a long time. <laughs> A lot of people. A lot of people. Okay, this is a fascinating job. Is it a good gig? Do you guys enjoy this? Yeah, I've been here for... 18 years now, he's been here for 100, I think. Right? <laughs> Eight, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Almost, yeah, 30. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, when people say you work in a manhole, you're like, it's not that bad because in the summertime, you're out of the heat. Yeah. And in the wintertime, you're out of the wind and the rain. Uh, it's not that bad. So, okay. yeah. I'll, I'll take your word for it. But there's no turtles down here. No, no turtles. No turtles. no turtles. All right, more on our, you know, uh, manhole Spelunkin? Adventure. Yeah, Adventure, Spelunkin, I don't know what we call it. Uh, coming up in just a bit. Back to you guys in the studio. Really, really great stuff today, Cody. Thank you so much. We'll see you in just a little bit. I am. I'm above ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people thought that I wouldn't make it, but I am above ground. I don't know how much longer. Okay, so where are we now, Pat? Where are we? What is this? We're in West Park, Roseville, and we are at a splice point that feeds a subdivision. Uh, the splice point that we're at left the manhole a little while ago, mm -hmm. and it, it went to a smaller area. So now we're in this pool box with a splice case, and that's what we're getting ready to splice. And it feeds all these houses out in West Park. And it, there's a lot of houses out here. How many, how many fibers come in here? What, what? Uh, in this case, there is 288 coming leaving for now, but we can do more. I think there's uh, that box is, I think it has like 800. Is it something like that? Oh, so wow. yeah. But each fiber will feed a house. So, Each fiber feeds a house, yeah. and the fibers are teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. I have teeny one tiny. prepped here. Okay, let's let's see how you guys do this. So we're gonna splice it, right? We're gonna splice it. So it's already in the machine. So the fibers right here is this little blue part. This is a heat shrink to protect it. It's already ready to go. So we'll just close this. I'll let you close the lid. Okay, uh, Scott. If you come around, they got a little monitor right here. You might be able to see it. So just close this. Close the lid. All right. So you can see the machine. It actually lines up the fibers. Oh, yeah. Did it just do its thing? You'll see it in a second. There you go. So now what we did is we took two different fibers and fused them together. So we can take this out now. And this little heat shrink protects it. We'll just slide this over like this. And it goes <laughs> in here. And now that fiber will feed your house. That's it. That's it. That and one we'll little... That 476 Dude. more times. Yeah, that's exciting. Uh, one thing I learned, uh, A, I couldn't do this without readers. <laughs> I, I need these. I got to do the old John Dabkovich. And then, um, and the other thing is, my hands aren't steady enough for this. So if there's anybody out there that's like, should I go into this or should I go into surgery? Maybe maybe this could be, you know, less school than surgery. It's going to be tough if you got shaky hands, especially <laughs> after coffee, you know. So, yeah, you got these little bitty things and you're shaking around and good luck. Yeah. You might be there a while. What a commitment 
by consolidated communications to do all this fiber stuff. This is crazy. It's, it's just the future. I mean, you got to keep up, you know, if you're uh, not keeping up, you're in trouble. So yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, we're wrapping things up here. Uh, have you heard from your mom yet? No, she's uh, probably still at work. She'll be getting out okay. going, wondering why I called her a hundred, but <laughs> I didn't mean it, mom. <laughs> Just want to make sure because she's my only viewer. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. she loves me. All right, there you go. Uh, coming up, we're going to take you back down the manhole one more time. I uh, kind of show you some of the safety equipment that they have to use down there. It is fascinating. It is yeah, absolutely it is. fascinating. Back to you. This has been a great education this morning. Thank you, Code. Hello, hello, hello. We're in a manhole right now. Now, this was fascinating. When we first got here, this was full of water, yeah. full of water. And in about five minutes, it was not full of water. That's right. We pumped it out. Uh -huh. So we made it so we can come down here and not need scuba gear. Yeah. <laughs> so. And that's that's normal. They usually have water and stuff in it, right? It is very normal. Yeah. No fish, but there's <laughs> water. <Yeah. laughs> Maybe a couple dudes, but uh, no fish. Now, I'm wearing this little guy right here. Yes. What is this for? That is your gas detector. So mm -hmm. we are in confined space, and confined space requires ventilation and a gas detector. So you can pick up when the oxygen level drops, uh, it'll let us know, it'll go into an alarm. Or if a car that's a 1970 Impala drives by and is smoking like crazy, it'll suck the exhaust in, that'll also go into alarm. So oh, okay. uh, when it goes into alarm, it's not a big deal. We just have to climb out. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's all sorts of safety things that you've got. There's a ladder, uh, there's a pump. Yes. Uh, you're also putting air down here. Uh, there's all the safety requirements we have to meet. Uh, we have cones out there to block sidewalks because we are actually blocking the sidewalk right now. So somebody can't walk by. Uh, so we have to remember that when we're, anytime we're working in a manhole. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Now, uh, explain to us what, what is these things? It looks like kegs, but I, I'm guessing these aren't kegs. <laughs> of beer. Of beer. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? What is this? This is a splice case that this is actually older copper cable. This isn't fiber optics. Um, and it keeps it protected. There's actually air on this, so I can push down, and you can hear air. Yeah. And that protects the cable. If, uh, if the air pushes the water out, then water can't get in and ruin the cable. Oh, okay. For copper, it matters. For fiber optic, it doesn't matter so much. Fiber optic is pretty resilient on anything it does. Fiber optic, man. This is, this is crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Yeah. yeah. It survives fires. It survives... Floods, it survives. The only thing you can't do is you can't kink it. Yeah. Because it's glass. It's it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it'll it's break. Be straight. But you you guys are going to have the, matter of fact, the capabilities of the fiber optic network, we don't even have the equipment yet to really push it all the way, right? Uh, now, right now, it's infinite. So hmm. it's like right now, all we're selling is two gigs. So we don't know what it's capable of. Uh, we don't know how many houses we there's. It's unlimited right now. Yeah, so, yeah, it's pretty good stuff. Yeah, that's wild, man. Yeah. We're gonna teach you how to splice in a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll splice them. That's cool. I can do that. I can do that. Don't bring my machine. Uh, any, <laughs> <laughs> anything else I should know about being in a manhole? Like, how do you get out of the manhole? Uh, typically, there's a ladder, but this one got removed, so we're gonna have to yell for Nicole, who's up there, so <laughs> to throw us a rope. <laughs> Uh, on belay. So, yeah. <laughs> Notice I did bring the tallest photographer I have yes. into the hole uh, yeah. this morning. Yeah, yeah we'll be fine. We <laughs> <laughs> this is fascinating. Good like, stuff. honestly, I had no idea what these things look like underground. Most people don't. Most yeah. people think it's sewer and, you know, they're actually, you know, some of them depends on how good you clean them. They have paint. There's uh, posters on the walls. Uh, some people live in them. There's beds. I'm kidding. So, anyway, no. <laughs> this one's actually fairly clean for the yeah. most part. Yeah. Yeah. It's better than some of my college apartments, that's yeah. for sure, and bigger. No natural spring. Matter of fact, this little space right here in San Francisco would probably go for $4,000 a month, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there you go. Back to you guys.